iPhoto uses libraries to store your photos. All your photos are placed in these library files. Um, by option clicking on the iPhoto library, we get the option to create library and choose an existing library. Um, your library currently should be your iPhoto library. Uh, that houses all the photos you've taken to date in that one library. We also have the ability to create the library, which we're going to do here real quick. And we're just going to name it Macgasm. And what this is going to do is going to allow us to import certain photos into one library and keep other libraries for other uses. As you can see, there's no photos currently residing in this iPhoto library. Um, I'm going to drag and drop a photo real quick from my desktop into iPhoto. So it's going to work the exact same way. Um, just your archive of photos will no longer be in this particular library. A number of scenarios where this is beneficial, um, for example, could be uh, multiple users using the same login account on your Mac, wanting to keep their photos separate from each other. Um, I mentioned the archiving thing. The ability to keep your, your photos in libraries that you can archive easily is very beneficial as opposed to one giant library that spans a couple gigabytes. Starts getting a bit more difficult to back up onto to your disk mediums. Um, as you can see here, there's two libraries now. There's the iPhoto library and the Macgasm library. And I'm just going to switch back and go back to my normal library so you can see that all those photos are still intact. They're still stored and named in the proper events that I've put them in. Um, you're, you're not going to ruin your photos. Uh, so it's a great, great way to keep things distinct but still all together in iPhoto. So iPhoto 08 gives you the functionality that a lot of photographers and amateurs have been asking for for ages. Uh, previously you had to use third-party software to manage your libraries. Now you can just option click on the iPhoto icon and away you go. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and you want to see more of us, you can check out our blog at macgasm.net.